growing up, I was into street shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. Rap music is still relatively new because we gotta remember first, before rap, there was the death of disco. They killed disco in a stadium somewhere where they had this big old shit that was televised, where they were steamrolling disco records and blowing them the fuck up. They they were literally blowing up disco records. I don't know what 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 this place is. I can Google it, but y'all gotta Google it. Death of disco, blow up, whatever you gotta put in the search. But they blew blew this shit up. I remember. I was still jamming shit like uh. What's that chick? Nasty chick. Do it for Now, uh, Donna Summer. <laughs> love to love her, oh, baby. Oh, yeah, That's yeah. a masturbation yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It sound like she made that whole rubbing on her nipples and shit. Yeah. Oh, love to love, love you, baby. Like, yeah, yeah. goddamn, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I'm listening to this shit, and they killing disco. They like, fuck disco. I'm like, why? Why y'all don't like this shit? You know what I'm saying? But as they killed disco, <clears throat> there was nothing else. But we got this nigga with this little old bitty tiny ass shirt coming on. Hip hop. I'm like, who is this motherfucker with his little brother shirt on? Hip hop. Hip <laughs> Like, what is that shit? You know what I'm saying? In hotel, motel. This shit jumped off. But this shit was jumping off at the same time as Curtis Blow. And he had uh, Christmas <coughs> rapping, which was the first uh, rap Curtis Blow. He had a song called The Breaks, which followed that. These are the breaks. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Break down. That shit. And along came Sugar Hill Records, which was the shit is blowing up. So all this shit blew up, and then along came crack around 85. In 85, Michael Jackson was still doing this shit. It was thrilling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wanted to be Mike. Damn right. Motherfuckers wasn't focused on no rap, wasn't no rap. So I'm telling you how the world looked before rap. There was none. You had disco, Michael Jackson, the movie Colors, and then rap. And the movie Colors is significant because all you motherfuckers went from being Michael Jackson to one of the gang bang. You ain't lying. How the fuck was you just with a glitter glove now you talking about you a thug? Man, did you fuck? see Colors? Nigga, it was so intriguing, nigga, when Colors came out. Man, I'm talking about in Deuce. In Deuce. <laughs> I knew what I wanted to be South, South Central. Central. <laughs> yeah, I knew. Colors made you motherfuckers. Now, now I'm not a... Uh, a lot of people don't want to admit that. I'm from here. I, I saw it, dog. You wasn't you didn't wasn't born that. Now I was born a crib, nigga. I've been no you didn't. Motherfucker, we was in sixth grade together. You wasn't you wasn't none of that shit. You wanted to either be Prince, Michael Jackson, or Rick James. Which one did you pick? You know what I'm saying? All of them were suspect, but they had them bras. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All the motherfuckers had them bras, but they were suspect. I would have been Al Green. <laughs> <laughs> Grits too. <laughs> Gonna burn your ass up. <laughs> oh, favorite come. <laughs> so that ain't no happening. Love happen, it That ain't happening at all, bro. Yeah, uh, but now, uh, when crack hit, it changed people that we went to school with. We go to school with each other. Now, all of a sudden, you a kingpin. Now, all of a sudden, you an evil person. You killing people. You know what I'm saying? People's mother, people's grandmama, grown people that you respect. Ain't no respect because they sucking dick for a goddamn thing, a pebble. You're like, what the fuck? And then <coughs> you torn because part of you was like, that's that bullshit. But part of you was like, I got to get this money. Let me sell this shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And along come a motherfucker like me. I'm, you stand out there all day selling that shit to get money. I take two minutes to get get your money. Give me that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm robbing you. Fuck you. I don't give a damn with you. I've been out there all day. And? Give me your <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's not to say one crime is better than the other. It's just you got to you gotta pay attention. Right. You gotta, yeah, yeah. You're going to get your shit. That, that, but, that's how it thing like Jenna said. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be robbing you. <laughs> I'm a yeah. stick up kid. They, I, I love that song. It. That's a show. Shit. shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that I would be.